All right, Ed, thank you. Free speech protests are nothing new for college campuses across the country, and today one arrived at Arkansas Tech in Russellville. A protest against a controversial scholarship drew a large crowd of students and at least one member of a local white nationalist group. THV 11's Willie Hoyt heard from many of these people involved. Don and Craig, this all started in December when Arkansas Tech announced a $190,000 scholarship endowed to the name of Professor Dr. Michael Link. He died in 2016. Concerned faculty pointed to signs over 51 years of teaching history that Link taught Holocaust denial and harbored anti-Semitism. One side says they have evidence, the school isn't convinced, and into the tense mix, a confirmed anti-Semite eager to share his beliefs. What brought you down? Well, to represent anti-Semitism, of course. A muggy day at the center of Arkansas Tech's campus, drawing hundreds of students, faculty, and citizens. Many angry over a scholarship endowed by a former professor. The Anti-Defamation League and other Jewish groups say Dr. Michael Link was a Holocaust denier and tried to teach that in his class. Because we have direct quotes from his books, from his thesis, um, and from the books that he taught that say that he was, like, that prove that he was anti-Semitic. Organizers like Kalina Smith point to a class reading list from 2005 and a review of criticism of a 20th century theologian. Link included books by deniers and allegedly relied on anti-Jewish tropes in his writing. Those incidents came over 51 years at the school. Assessing the entirety of anyone's life once it's complete is a difficult, uh, if not impossible, task. But university spokesperson Sam Strazner says the school has tried to sort it out. Uh, through that process, Arkansas Tech University has yet to find any evidence that suggests that he taught anti-Semitism or that he taught Holocaust denial in his classes. In that position, prompting voices from both sides to debate the evidence Sorry. in the public square. The question deals with we should not honor this individual given the evidence that we have. I'm okay with the idea of students receiving money for the fact that they need to go to school. Throughout lingered the threat that a local white nationalist group would show up to counter protest. In the end, one man wearing fascist earrings and a hateful t-shirt waited in the crowd. He left $200,000 for the school. Despite tension and loud arguments, things remain peaceful, thanks largely to city and campus police. Our ultimate goal is make sure everybody's safe. You know, you got your first amendment right for freedom of speech, so we want to make sure we honor and protect that privilege and that right under the Constitution. No arrests, no violence, and when we left, that white nationalist remained surrounded by dozens of people questioning his beliefs, surrounded as well by a half a dozen officers. They told us they could debate all the way up until midnight tonight.